Sofia is one of the oldest towns in Europe. What's up, P Nation? Today we are in Sofia, Bulgaria. It's raining, a little bit sorry about that, but we are gonna show you how extensive it is in Sofia. talk about the currency conversion between US dollars and Bulgarian lev. So one US dollar is approximately 175 lev. So we've been thinking this whole time that like one dollar is like, or two, two lev is one dollar. So like two to one ratio. Five US dollars is about 871. 10 US dollars is about 17. And 20 US dollars is about 34 lev. So our hotel accommodation has been approximately $20 each night. That's 34 lev, pretty good deal. Okay, so we are here in our Bulgarian apartment. The carpet is orange, the walls are blue, it's fantastic. We have a tiny little kitchenette, coffee sink, dishwasher, amazing, fridge, microwave, balcony, and then we go into the bedroom. Nice size bed. TV. Garden view. Toilet, sink, and the shower. So small. And this only cost us 17 a night. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you about transportation. So the best way to see the city is a mix of their own transportation. So they have a bus ground train, they have subways, and they have buses that are attached to cables and ones that aren't attached to cables. It's really up to you, but it only costs 50 cents to ride those things. Like this train we're about to get on, only 50 cents. So as you can see some prices, everything is under two, which means it's under one US dollar. That is crazy. Thank you. So another reason why we love taking the metro and like the transportation around here is because they have all these little bakeries and they're not even sketchy. They're underground, but they're really nice. And it's really good. Okay, now into attractions. So there are lots of things you can do in the city that are free. We're telling you how cheap this place is and this tour group behind us, it's free walking free. tour. So Sofia, it's interesting that it's a really big city and they love making tours free. There's a free walking tour of the city to like see all of the buildings. Mm -hmm. There's a free guided food, food tour. tour. Mm -hmm. I think you have to like purchase the food, but like the tour there is free. Yeah. And then there's a free tour up Vitosha Mountain. You have to pay for your own transportation up there, but the tour is free. Yes. And there's one else, there's a bike tour. You have to rent your own bike, but the tour is free. So, this is one of the cheaper cities in yeah. Europe to see everything that you want to see. What a budget friendly city. probably the most recognizable building in all of Sofia, maybe all of Bulgaria. It is one of the largest Orthodox churches in the world, and now we're gonna go inside.
to get into the cathedral. You don't have to pay an entry. You don't even have to make a donation if you don't want to. But if you want to take photos and videos, you have to pay 10 lev. They gave you this little ticket so that people don't like make you put your camera away really fast. You're not allowed to wear a hat, as we have learned. And it is absolutely beautiful in here. Okay, we have made it to the center of town and Leah wanted to say that. So the reason why you come to Sofia in the first place is not like a specific thing. It's really to experience like the architecture and just to look around town. So the architecture itself is really, really interesting. A lot of these buildings are very, very beautiful. A lot of cathedrals, mm -hmm. kind of like Gothic, but not Gothic. I'm not an expert. But also they have like an archaeological site they found, which we're walking through right now, that dates back to before the Romans. So there's just a lot of history here yeah. and it's very beautiful. Almost 4,000 years ago. It's actually crazy because this place we're walking that you see around us is in a subway station. Like the subway station is in the middle of this place. many different options and it's really inexpensive. Now on the cookies, Oreos will cost you $2.35. Loaves of bread, $1.99 lev. And cheese with your bread will cost you anywhere between five and 10 lev, depending on how big or what quality you want. Chips will cost you between one and three lev. And mixed trail mix will cost you between two and five lev. And a stay healthy with sliced watermelon will cost you two lev. Okay, weird, but now on the coffee. They have coffee machines all over the city that have coffee for less than one lev. Most of the time it's 40 to 60 cents, if you're okay with getting coffee machine coffee. And big candy bar is about $2.39. But the biggest candy bar is like $6.50. Also keeping with tradition, chocolate milk is only $1.45 lev. That's less than a dollar. Okay, so we got chocolate milk, but I don't know what Leah bought. What did you buy? I am not sure what it is. We've been in a lot of grocery stores since we've been here, and I see this drink every single time we're near the milk section. So I just really wanted to buy it. It was only 50 cents, like 50 lev, so that's like 25 cents. All right. Money. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try it. It looks like it's a wheat drink, and honestly, I feel like it's gonna make me have to go to the bathroom. But we're gonna try it. <laughs> Google Translate showed me that there's a section that says to shake well. It is 50% off. <laughs> wow. It's sweet. It tastes like wheat, but also like meat. I know that rhymes. I didn't mean to say that. I, it, honestly. We have come to one of our favorite places and serves soup, which is very common in Bulgaria. Soup and salad is like one of the main staples of every meal. You can see a lot of people walking around with little bags of soup and containers and then a piece of bread on top of them. We have our bread and we have our soup and apparently Leo wants me to tell you guys that I did not like soup before I met her, which is a true statement and I was editing a video yesterday about Thailand and we were eating soup in hot climate and that would have never happened before I met Leo back in Texas. You're welcome. So some of you might be thinking, why are you getting soup and why are you showing us? Because one, it's nutritious, and two, it's really cheap. So this whole meal cost us nine lev, which is under five dollars, or like right about five US dollars. 
Okay, so thank you for watching this video on how expensive a day in Sofia, Bulgaria is. It's been really fun. There's so much to do here in Sofia for not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You can do your budget travel. You can do your probably extravagant travel. <laughs> That's not really our style, so we didn't show you that aspect. But it's been really wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. Okay so, this cathedral, okay, so this cathedral behind me is not even arguably, it is the best. Okay, so this <laughs> cathedral behind me is the best. <laughs> it's so beautiful in here. We tried some, and I said to Zach that it tastes the way that cow poop smells, and then Zach realized I was right, and he could no longer eat it. <laughs>